So we're working on the gizmo. The gizmo can be found on Schoology under the date for today, which is the 28th. I'm gonna click on the gizmo. It's going to download to the bottom of my screen. I'm gonna click on that. In order to be able to edit this, I need to save it on my desktop. So I'm gonna hit the download button. I'm gonna ensure that it says desktop. That means it's gonna be right in the, as soon as I open my computer, I can rename it, observing weather gizmo, whatever I need to. If I have a folder that says science, I can put it in that folder as long as it's somewhere I can find it. It's gonna download again down here, but I can't open it here because it won't let me type it yet. So I'm gonna exit this screen, go to my desktop screen that has all my icons on it and open it. You should see that it opens in Adobe Acrobat Reader because it's a PDF. So if I click the icon that looks like a pen, and then click the letters, it will let me type on it. So the gizmo that we're doing is the student exploration observing weather and our prior knowledge questions were our do now. So what do you guys think? If you were describing the weather to someone, what kinds of things would you talk about? So I'm gonna say I would talk about. What would you say? What would you say, Caroline? I would talk about the temperature. And like I said, you could use the notes that we took the other day. Mazzy, the types of clouds I see. My mobile friends, any ideas? What would I think about? What would I talk about? Anybody else in class, Carlos? Humidity or humidity and relative humidity. Very good. What else? Emerson. Wind. So what specifically? Wind, direction and speed. Anything else? This might be part of the water cycle. I'm looking at somebody and they don't have their mask on. I need them to fix that, please. Thank you. I want somebody new. Brennan, can I have you sit right here, please? Okay. What else? I want somebody new. Think about if I was going to go outside and I needed to know how to get dressed, what factors would influence the way that I dress? Ethan. Yeah, precipitation. If it's going to rain, I need to know because I'm going to wear my raincoat or boots. Similarly, precipitation is not only influenced by humidity, but what else? What else do you think? It's measured with a barometer, Christian. But what is measured with a barometer? Yeah, that's a great idea. Look at those notes. Air pressure, very good. Um, and I, the reason I say that is because temperature is influenced that by that um, uh, precipitation, wind speed, and direction. So really, all of that. Anything else we can think about? Okay. Um, what instruments? So we said one. What instruments? could we use? So we could say, I could use the following to measure weather. So we just said one, Bishop. Okay, or it's called a, um, a high hygrometer. This was actually not in your, um, it was not, in the notes that we took because it actually goes by the name of a psychrometer.
which measure, measures humidity. What else do we use? Mazzy. An anemometer measures what? Yeah, like Annie M, from Wizard of Oz, right? An Annie M ometer. Brennan? A thermometer. And what was the one I just said? Barometer, very good. Awesome, awesome. A weather balloon, yep, that's something that meteorologists use to help detect things before they happen, right? So that because they can detect the air pressure that's further up. So yes, very, very good. What we're gonna do today, and I'm gonna let you work in partners, is we're, we're gonna observe the weather in a specific, in different cities at different times of the year. When you do a gizmo, it is super important that you're reading every direction because it tells you exactly what to click. Sometimes you need to change the date. Sometimes you need to change the time of day. Sometimes you need to change the location. So make sure you're reading through each and every single step and filling in the blanks after um, you follow the directions. So we're gonna do our warm up to kind of get us acclimated. It should be very simple because we're just recording the data that we see, the temperature, um, the wind speed and direction, the, uh, the rain gauge, what the humidity is. So just the values that we're seeing in these different tools. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, open up the gizmo. And then I'll let you guys get started with your partner. You have the entire class period to work. I will also have your usernames up on the screen um, as a resource. My mobile friends, I did put the, the link for Explore Learning attached to the Schoology page. So if you look, I actually attached the Gizmo webpage to Schoology for just ease of access. Again, I have all of your login information. And I'll provide that uh, in one moment. So I'm going to go to my classes. This is period six. And you'll see that I assigned you observing weather. So I'm just gonna click on it. So just helping you navigate this beforehand Any day now. Oh, it's just taking forever. All right. So you'll see that I see it's either January 1st or July 1st. I have to either make the, I can choose my different locations based on what their directions tell me to. That first direction tells me I need to be in New York. And then there's also the option to observe weather, which is where I can make recordings. The recordings are gonna show temperature, wind speed, wind direction, precipitation, or the rain gauge, and humidity in a percent. Because that's a percent, what is that really considered? Emerson? Relative. relative humidity, because it's relative to the temperature, right? And I also can note the time. And then you'll see we're in customary units, that's because that's what the United States uses. Um, but I can pause the simulation every three hours so it's easy for me to take notes. So it'll go from 12 to three to six to nine to 12 again, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead just really quick. We're gonna do the warm up together. And it says, Earth is surrounded by a blanket of air called the atmosphere. The weather is the state of the atmosphere at a given time and place. In the observing weather gizmo, you will record and compare weather conditions in several locations. To begin, check that New York is selected on the world map. Check that the date is January 1st and click observe weather and check that customary units are selected. So let's just double check that that's 
all of the settings that we have. I see that I'm, if I go back to world map, I'm in New York, it's January 1st, and I'm gonna select observe weather. And I'm under customary units. So that'll be your default setting. Then it says, click play and observe for one day. So I'm gonna let it run for a full day. Um, I can have it stop every three hours, but remember, it's not just 12 hours, a full day is how many hours? 24, so I'm gonna let it run for 24 hours. Okay, so let's make some observations here. I'm gonna let it play every three hours just so it's easy to stop the clock. So just pay attention to the weather that we're observing. It will pause and make measurements or take notes every three hours because I click this. If I don't have this clicked, I have to manually pause it to take notes. Does everybody understand? Okay, so here we go. So look at what kinds of weather I observe. So I have to click on an instrument to make a measurement. I have, what would this be? What is it? It's not a clock. Remember, it looks like a, it's very good. It looks like the blood pressure cuff. It's a barometer. So I'm going to click on my barometer. It tells me that my measurement is 58. So I have to type it in there. I can't see. Oh, that's relative humidity. So that's my psychrometer. This one looks different. The high grommeter looks a little different. Um, but this actually also looks like a barometer based off of what we said, right? So relative humidity, it says 58. So I'm going to type 58. It will not record it for you. What would this be? A thermometer and I'm in Fahrenheit. So I'm going to type 40. What would this be? What is that measuring wind speed and direction? Anemometer. So I'm gonna put the speed is four and the direction is northwest. Do you see how I have to manually, manually click on it and record it? And then, which is why it's gonna be really important for me to, um, to have it stop every three hours. And then I've got my rain gauge. So uh, do I see any precipitation? Zero. Does everybody understand? All right, so I'm gonna let it keep going. For the purpose of time, I'm not gonna record this time. We're just making that observation, okay? So we're gonna let it go all the way back to 12 a.m. But it will only record the weather variables when I click on the tools to make the measurement, okay? Oh, so what are we observing? Rain, precipitation. What are we observing? Is that rain? Yeah. Now it's snow, right? So my temperature should be 32, but below 32 degrees. All right, so there's my 24 hours. So I'm gonna go back to my paper. What types of weather did we see? What kind of precipitation? Rain and snow. So do you think it was hot or cold? Cold, very good. And also we know it's January in New York, so. So then, we let it go all the way to 11.59 p.m. And it wants us to record the temperature. It says, click the thermometer, measure the temperature or how hot or cold it is. Temperature is measured in degrees Fahrenheit. We know that water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and boils at 212 degrees. If it's below zero degrees Fahrenheit, use negative numbers. So we're gonna go to back and we're gonna look at what our temperature is. So I'm gonna click on what tool? The thermometer and what temperature is it? No, it's slightly under 28. So I'm going to go back to my paper and I'm going to write 28 degrees. I can't do a degree sign, so I'm just going to do the little star. 
and make sure I'm using Fahrenheit because we're doing customary units. What would the degree be? Does anybody know what degree it would be if it was in Celsius? Yeah. Does everybody understand what you're doing here? Okay. Um, my mobile friends, I'm gonna allow you to share your screens with one another so you all can actually do this as a whole group. Um, you have activities A through C to do. The goal is to at least finish activity B. At least finish activity B. So activity A is collecting the weather data. Very easy, because you're just filling in the blanks. This is gonna require you to take it every three hours, like I said, right? You're gonna have to make predictions, collect the data, make sure you're following the directions. Activity B, you're changing cities. Activity B, you're changing cities. So the goal is to finish all the way through activity B. If you finish that, then you're gonna to go to a third city or a, a third set of cities. Does everybody understand? Activity, I'm grading completion through activity B. And then um, um, but I would like us to shoot for through activity C. Does everybody understand? All right. Please um Get with a partner. Again, my mobile friends, you guys are able to work together. And remember, this is explorelearning.com. I'm gonna put your usernames up on the screen. And then you can also create a new username based on the class code that I can provide to you in the chat. 